Welcome to the Microsoft Azure Data Self-Help Series. My name is Kenny Yu, and today I'll be presenting on how to shrink a transactional log file. There are two ways to shrink a database file, either by using SSMS or T-SQL. However, before shrinking a transactional log file, we should understand the reason why the file has grown. Please follow the best practices outlined in the Microsoft documentation, for example, setting proper auto growth size will ensure that the transaction log file grows at a consistent rate. This can be done by selecting the column log re underscore reuse underscore weight underscore description in sys databases or running the notebook via Azure Data Studio as shown here. For example, after running the query, my database needed a log backup. A transaction log backup will truncate the log and enable the space to be reused or released. Once a log backup has been completed, the file can be shrunk to release the unused space back to the operating system. However, it is important to note that shrinking a file before a forming a backup will only release available unused space. In some cases, there may be no available space due to a long-running transaction. Therefore, it is recommended to repeat this shrinking process if the initial transactional backup did not release a significant amount of space. Additionally, it's worth noting that there may be other reasons why the log cannot be shrunk, even after a log backup, such as replication or always on sync issues. And in such cases, it is crucial to address those issues first before attempting to shrink the log file. To check for free space and perform the shrinking process, follow these steps. Right click on the database in SQL Server Management Studio, select task, then choose shrink from the drop down menu. Click on file in the new window that appears in this window, you'll see the current allocated space and available and the available free space. To release unused space back to the operating system, select option release unused space. Click OK to initiate this shrinking process. By following these steps, you can check the allocated and available free space and choose to release any unused space back to the operating system. Another way to shrink a transaction log file is to use the command dbcc shrink file command. In a new query window, you can run the following command as an example, dbcc shrink file, logic file name, and the, and the file size. This command will shrink the log file to 256 megs. However, it is important to note that shrinking transactional log file is generally not recommended because it can lead to performance issues. It is advisable to have a healthy starting size for log files and manage their growth by sizing the initial log file based on the workload and taking frequent, frequent log backups. This approach helps prevent excessive file growth and keeps the log file size optimized for performance. While shrinking a file may provide temporary relief by releasing unused space, it can result in file fragmentation, increased file growth in the future, and potential performance degradation. Therefore, it is crucial to carefully consider the need for shrinking a transactional log file and follow best practices to avoid any negative impact on the database performance. In this video, I cover how to shrink a transactional log file and check this usage. Please check our public documentation for additional information. Thanks for watching, and we hope the information in this video has been helpful to you.